In today's video, we are talking about can scarcity money mindset cost you? We are going to dive into this interesting topic of a scarcity mindset and see if it really is costing you. I am Tiffany Thomas, your wealth mentor. I achieved financial freedom in my 30s and became a millionaire at age 40. I'm here to help you do that even earlier and easier. So let's dive right in. Are you ready to break free from the limitations of a scarcity money mindset and embrace that transformative power of abundance? We are going to take a look at the different ways that a scarcity money mindset can cost you and how we can actually improve that mindset. The way we think about money can have a profound impact on our financial well-being. A scarcity money mindset is one that revolves around fear, lack, and a belief that there is never going to be enough. So let's definitely change that. The first item I want to talk about is living in that fear and limitation. It can lead to a constant worry about money and even an obsession with saving every single penny. It can also affect us to have a reluctance to take on any risk, even calculated risk. This fear-based approach really limits our opportunities for building our wealth and creating abundance. That's actually the second point I want to bring up is that we are missing out on opportunities for growth. When we view money through the lens of a scarcity mindset, we are missing out on a lot of opportunities for growth, whether it's investing in the stock market or in real estate or in our own business. If we have that scarcity mindset, we are not going to take the opportunities to invest our money in those different aspects. So it's really important that we realize that money is not a scarce resource, that there is plenty to go around. Also, having a scarcity money mindset leads us to neglecting our self-care and even our personal development. If we are just stuck in that scarcity mindset, then we're not even going to try to improve ourselves and we aren't going to take care of ourselves because what's the point? If we aren't able to increase to have that abundance, then why not just lay in bed all day or not take care of our physical or emotional or mental health? If we are only focused on the financial security and so stressed about that, that is going to become our main focus and we are going to neglect the other areas in our lives. These are just a few ways that a scarcity money mindset can cost us. Now that we've talked about the ways it can cost us, let's talk about the opposite and how we can actually embrace abundance. Embracing that abundance money mindset is really realizing that there is plenty to go around. Honestly, if one person is making more money, it doesn't mean that another person has to make less money. We can all make more money. We can all have as much money as we need or want because there is plenty to go around. One way that helps me realize that there is plenty to go around is being grateful for what I actually do have, for the home that I have, the bed that I get to sleep in, and even my friends and family. There's just so many things to be grateful for. Once I start realizing all of those blessings that I have, then it just automatically creates that abundance mindset. I'm thinking, oh, there is a ton to be grateful for, and more is going to come in. And then cultivating that positive money mindset really goes back to us delving into our thoughts. And what are we actually thinking about money? Is it that it is scarce, that I'm never going to be able to increase my rates, or I'm never going to be able to invest my money? We want to switch those thoughts into positive thoughts and think, all right, what have I done that has been good with my money? Was I able to save a little bit of money? Was I able to invest a little bit of money? Was I able to just look at my finances? We need to celebrate these little wins along the way so that we can recognize them and realize we can continue to improve over time because we have done good things already with our money. We can also look at others around us and see how they are being successful with their money. I listened to the Life Coach School with Brooke Castillo, and she talks a lot about her money mindset and how she's been able to build her wealth over the years and build up her business. I find that very inspiring and very motivating. When I see people succeeding like that, I'm thinking, all right, if they can do that, I know that it's possible for me to do that. And I don't need to follow the exact same path, but just seeing that example is really helpful to me because 
I know that someone has done it already and that just means it's possible for anyone else to do it. And I can continue to surround myself with people that set examples for me and that helps me reach even higher goals. And then another thing that we can do when we are thinking about abundance and having that positive money mindset is to realize there are opportunities for growth out there for us. We can attract those opportunities. If we have that positive money mindset and we are thinking, all right, I know I can increase my income. I can start my business. I can invest my money and make it work for me, then we're going to start seeing those opportunities that we can take to increase our financial health. We can even do collaborations, but if we aren't thinking those things, then we're not going to see the opportunities that are out there. And I mentioned this before, but we can definitely practice gratitude and we can even have our own affirmations that we say to ourselves. And I know sometimes people get caught up in affirmations and they just keep saying money flows easily to me or whatever it is. And while I think it's important that we have positive self-talk, I also think we need to take action. It's not just about saying these affirmations over and over, but it's about seeing our potential and taking the action, seeing those opportunities that are out there and grabbing hold of those. And that way we can truly embrace these affirmations that we are saying to ourselves. Because I do think our thoughts are very important if we are just down on ourselves, so hard on ourselves thinking we are never going to become financially free, we can never improve our financial situation, then we aren't going to. So we need to think these positive thoughts that yes, I can improve my financial situation. I can increase my net worth. I can invest and then start taking the actions to do that. And the more that we are grateful for what we do have, then the more we are going to see and be open to having even more. And then going back to looking at examples of people that have achieved what I wanted to achieve, that has helped me as well. And if I am surrounding myself with people that have that abundance mindset, then that's going to increase my own mindset. I'm sure you've heard the quote, we are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with. I think that is definitely true. If we are constantly spending time with people that live in a scarcity mindset and complain all of the time and don't take action to work on their financial goals, then we are going to be in the same boat. We will start to have those similar thoughts. To give you a personal example, I have a friend from high school who was extremely negative. Every time I would talk to her, she would just complain about how bad things were, about how her job isn't going great and how things weren't good with her family. And it was just endless. Everything was just negative and I couldn't handle it. So I stopped spending so much time with her. I don't want to be around that negativity. And of course, not everything that comes out of my mouth is positive. Sometimes I do complain, but I try to focus more on the positive than on the negative. And I know that has made a big difference in my life and me being able to be successful and have abundance. So even if you don't have people in person that you can surround yourself with, make sure that you are finding people online that either put out really good content or that are being an example to you to help inspire you and motivate you. It is going to make a really big difference in getting rid of that scarcity mindset and switching over to an abundance mindset. And if you do want to have abundance in regards to investing in particular in the stock market, I have a free masterclass where I go over how I can help you invest in the stock market to build your abundance or your wealth. I will leave a link below in the description. You can click on that and check out the free masterclass. Comment below and tell me one way you are going to create your own abundance mindset. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more cool content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.